Hey guys, JV here with an update on the Corian arc in Andromeda. On October 25th, Bioware came out with a statement announcing Mass Effect Annihilation, an upcoming novel that is centered around the fate of the Corian arc. This has been something Mass Effect fans have been waiting a long time for, something many of us really wanted to see in DLC, but since we learned that Andromeda would get none, this was most likely the outcome. In this video, we'll read Bioware's statement, look back at the timeline of events regarding Andromeda connected to this, and I'll share my whole perspective on the situation. If you'd like to read the announcement for yourself, link Link is in the description below. Let's go ahead and read the announcement word for word. Discover the danger aboard the Corian Ark in Mass Effect Annihilation, an upcoming novel from Hugo Award-winning author Catherine M. Valente. This official tie-in novel chronicles the journey of the Kila Sia as it carries 20,000 Drell, Elcor, Batarian, and Corian colonists to Andromeda. A pathogen is discovered aboard the Ark after many Drell are found dead in their cryopods. As the pathogen jumps species, the ship's systems begin to fail, making it clear that this is no accident. Annihilation arrives in US, Canadian, and UK stores on June 26, 2018 and August 28, 2018 in Australia. Just a little background on the author, Catherine Valente is a science fiction and fantasy writer who has written a ton of books and won numerous awards, so if that's what you're worried about, then you're in pretty good hands here with this author. Also, she tweeted shortly after the announcement, for those who are angry about this development, this book has been in the works for 18 months. It was always planned. I'm sure this was a response to some very angry, passionate Bioware and Mass Effect fans, but essentially this is to those who suggest that Bioware shift their gears at some point and release this book instead of putting out Corian Arc DLC like what was originally planned. She goes on to respond to a few tweets about that same topic, confirming that indeed her book had been delayed before. She can't discuss the reasons why, because those are internal to Bioware, obviously, but she can confirm that the delay had nothing to do with resolving the Corian Arc tie-in at the end of the game. In case you'd forgotten, in the epilogue, Ryder receives a distress signal from the Arc Kila Sia. Instead of calling for help, it warns them to stay away. Once again, this is in-game and not some Bioware blog post, which led many to believe that the Corian Arc DLC would be coming, or that this would be left for the sequel. And if her tweets are to be believed, then Bioware purposefully put the Corian Arc signal at the end of the game and had planned already to make a book about it instead of DLC. I'm really not sure I believe that. Of course, we learned that the Kotaku reports were accurate and that Andromeda would not receive any DLC after launch. My theory was that we'd receive a multiplayer update that would explain the fate of the Kila Sia, but since Bioware abandoned that too, it looks like this novel is the primary source for the Quarian arc, and again, it's been planned all along according to them. Back to the announcement. It is confirmed that the Ark is carrying Drell, Elcor, Batarian, and Corian colonists. We knew this because that was the plan all along. That's why this Ark was delayed in the first place, because it needed to handle the more complex needs of all of these races together on one Ark. Next, we learn that a pathogen killed off a decent number of Drell on the journey to Andromeda. We're not sure where the pathogen originated, obviously we're going to find out in the book, but we do know that it spreads to the other species aboard, and the Archila Sia starts to have technical problems, which of course suggests that there is foul play involved, not dissimilar to what happened with the Benefactor and the Nexus Uprising and all of that mess. Now this is just a guess, maybe wishful thinking, but I would hope that the Benefactor would be explained in this book too. I don't expect it to be fully explained, but the Benefactor would need to play a key role with the Kila Sia, perhaps being the one responsible for sabotaging it in order for it to actually make sense. Since the ship's systems fail, there is certainly an opportunity for that, and the biggest bummer is that we have to wait around nine months to learn exactly what happened. Just another round of disappointment for Mass Effect. I wanted to close out the video with some thoughts on the future of Mass Effect. With N7 Day coming up, it's just really sad to be a Bioware fan right now. Recently, EA made a decision to close Visceral Games and scrap their story-driven Star Wars game because they wanted something players would come back to. But the real message was heard loud and clear. EA does not want to make linear, single-player experiences that you can enjoy in just one playthrough, or maybe two. Instead, they want endless open multiplayer games that will allow them to sell microtransactions. While I still have an open mind about Anthem, I can't say I feel good about the future of Mass Effect if this is what EA wants. I'm not sure I even want it to return 
different at this point if it's going to be a butchered, hollow shell of its former self. And in that way, perhaps it's best that Mass Effect is going on the shelf for now. Perhaps we can weather the storm of loot box, microtransaction fueled game design and get back to the rich, story driven narrative experiences that we all know and love. For now, all we can do is go back and enjoy the original trilogy and cross our fingers for the future. Alright guys, today I shared my thoughts on the announcement of Mass Effect Annihilation. In the comment section below, tell me what you think happened aboard the Kila Sia. Share your theories in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for lots more commentaries like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.